Welcome back to another Alliance War. Today, the Heart Locker are up against Infinity Raw. And I'm taking path 8 with Doctor Doom, Human Torch and Guardian. I'm using Guardian against the Apocalypse boss, so I'm looking forward to that. But first up, we've got Hyperion on Buff Imbalance, Power Drain and Return Policy. I'm taking the usual path 8, so I'm going to use Doctor Doom on this fight. And it's a little bit surprising actually. I thought the power drain would be a lot stronger than it actually is. So this fight turned into just really a regular Doom versus Hyperion fight, so that's quite nice. Especially given the return policy aspect of this node, which could make Hyperion's power gain nasty and catch you out. But luckily it really hasn't. I've got to my SP3 pretty quickly and he is almost down. Quite a nice way to start a war. Nice wee setup, gets you in the groove and he is about to drop as soon as I launch this SP2 in distance. He is in the bin. And we move on to fight number two. So fight number two is a nasty looking warlock. Now this, right off the bat, will make me degen because he will put a power drain buff on me. And with Warlock's abilities, if you've got a power drain on you, you get degen. 100 a tick. As you can see, I am melting pretty quickly from this Warlock. We're not even 20 seconds in, I'm already 10% down. This is pretty good placement in my opinion. But now I've got the power drain buff off me, the degen stops. And the fight is now in my control. Now here I should have heavied to stop him getting another buff which then puts the power drain on me and then degen again. So I did lose a little bit more health than I should have but the fight is under control at least and that's really all that matters in war. The solo, you know, whether you get it with 100% health or 1% health, that's all that matters. That's why I kind of like war, it's all or nothing. So that's just just a nice fun aspect, nice competitive, but I am quite a competitive person, so that aspect of this is something I love and Warlock is melting from the incinerates. And we move on to fight number three. Fight number three is a Sorceress Supreme. I got a bit impatient waiting for this fight and I took it noted. In hindsight, I should have actually used Doom on this because of the energy resistance she's getting from the resistor node it means that human torches incinerates are doing a heck of a lot less damage than they normally would against a mystic. With doom however I could have one nullified them and two heavy spammed in the corner with the staggers and constant stunning it would just made this fight super easy and super quick. So if it's ever up in the future and I've got doom on the team I think I'll try that if it's a feasible matchup. You know, right here when she nearly got to three bars of power, I was a little bit worried, but I escaped. She's pretty liberal with our specials, so that is quite nice. I do hate when they're just being defensive and not throwing them. It does get you a little bit worried and throws you at the rhythm of the fight. But Saucer Supreme is down with not much fuss move on to the next one. So fight number four is a six star unduped Sasquatch. This is the power snack and backup recovery mini in the middle and I'm using the pre-fight ability on the human torch. I was a little bit concerned about this fight so I decided to use that for safety. The node combination can be a little bit nasty especially if you're not paying attention to the health of the defender. If you get near 50% of their health and they're at two and a half bars of power, you're pretty much screwed. So here I back off. I can see his health is coming up to that point. I am thinking, crap, crap, crap. I'm going to get this to the face. So that's why I'm parrying. I cannot trigger the power snack note from evades. So I just hit screw it 
launch this SP2. Hope that it does more damage than it does. It does have a massive chunk left. But thankfully, the AI throws that medium. I can parry and bin this Sasquatch. Got a wee bit lucky there, but I'll run away with the solo very happily and on to the next fight. So right after that Sasquatch fight, the officers called a boss rush. So what that means is we charge up one side of the map, normally the left hand side, and just take down the boss. They've decided it's going to be a loss, so we're just going to try and save items for the next one. So I called the boss right at the start of the war. I brought Guardian for this reason. So now I'm just going to attack this apocalypse with Guardian and hopefully use his block proficiency to save the day. However, holy crap, that was a lot of damage. I was super wide at this point. Just thinking this tactic is not working. That's nearly 25, 30% off me from two SP1s. I need to change tactic and make sure he only throws SP2s or else I'm going to be in the bin before two minutes are up. I'm still going to try and get to my SP3 but now I'm going to be intercepting more and trying to push him to that SP2 as much as possible. That block damage was just mental. I thought with Guardian's high block prof that would be okay but really no. That was just stupidly high. I'm going to have to change my tactic for next time. I was thinking it's a stubborn boss, so rather than get the indestructible buff on him by evading, I'll block it. But now I need to evade it from now on. I just decided to, for the SP2, is change tactic and block the first three hits and shallow evade the last section of it in order to not trigger the indestructible buff on him. I was a wee bit slow here in doing that so he's got it again so I just need to block some more and he is playing into me a little bit he's throwing those heavies but here I should have thrown my SP1 just one more time to get another couple of uh, force field charges and then launch SP2 with the energy resistance buffs he's got the damage was a bit gimped so it's now just really a race against time to get to the SP2 and hope he plays into my tactic as much as possible. He throws the SP1, I'm nearly dead, he's nearly dead. And it's just kind of a race now to see who survives. So I'm going to get to this SP2 and just pray that this kills him. And thankfully it does and I get the solo. It's quite satisfying in the end. But holy crap that block damage was a bit mental. Definitely not run that again. I'm going to change my tactic for next war and learn how to evade all the aspects of his specials because that was just cutting it too close and I was boosted. So that was a little bit crazy. That is the end of this war video. We did lose sadly. But if you did like the video, drop us a wee like, give us a wee comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for future content and I will catch you in the next one. All the best.